Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Well, I promised you more videos about the outfits I made for the Style Maker Fabrics Spring Style Tour, and this is the first one of those. Today, I'm going to be sharing more information about the bodysuit blouse I made for my work-appropriate outfit. If you recall, I made this top using Simplicity 8789. The website listing describes this top as a bodysuit blouse with a knit bottom featuring a snap crotch closure, front and sleeve variations, and gathers that give you the perfect tucked in look. For the front variations, there is a v-neck with faux buttons, a v-neck with ties, and a crossover faux wrap. Sleeve options include three-quarter length bell, elbow length bell, bishop, gathered into a cuff, and sleeveless. For my version, I made the v-neck with ties for the front and bishop sleeves, which I absolutely adore. Other details I love are the forward shoulder seam with gathers and the cut of the knit bottom. As for fabrics, I used a rayon poplin from Stylemaker Fabrics for the bodice and a lightweight rayon jersey from my stash for the knit bottom. Both fabrics are absolutely perfect for this style of top. I wouldn't change a thing in that department. But if you don't like the rayon poplin for some reason, you can find many more suitable fabrics at Stylemaker Fabrics by clicking on fabrics, clicking fabric type, and then choosing rayon and crepe. And that'll give you all kinds of lightweight, drapey, perfect fabrics for this billowy, blousey top. As for the knit bottom, you're really just looking for any kind of lightweight knit. You probably have something in your stash already. You just want to stay away from anything like, you know, sweatshirt fleece, <laughs> um, ponty knits, any of those thick, heavy, non-drapey knits would not be suitable for this, but just about anything other, anything else would work. Okay, now as for a fit, there are a couple of things that I would alter. Do you see how in the model pictures and even in the line drawings, the bodice looks really billowy and blousey coming out of the waistband of her jeans? I wish my version had more of that. I don't consider myself particularly long-waisted and usually never have to lengthen bodices, but this pattern seems to be a little short. I don't feel like the garment is pulling necessarily, but it definitely doesn't have that billowing effect like the model pictures and illustrations would indicate. So for the next version, because there definitely will be more, I will lengthen the bodice by an inch or an inch and a half. Other than that though, I really think the fit is spot on. Oh, I should mention that I did reduce the width of the sleeve opening by a couple of inches or so. I do have really small wrists though. Finally, I wanna talk about the knit bottom of the bodysuit. I have never made a bodysuit before or any undergarments for that matter. This was my first time using swimwear elastic and using the techniques you need to make a close fitting panty type of garment. I have to say that the instructions were very clear. The construction is clean and the finished result is really comfortable. So kudos to Simplicity for that. The snaps are definitely a little awkward and I was doubtful that they would really hold up, but I did a lot of sitting and standing in this garment and not one snap came undone. If snaps aren't your thing, I'm afraid this garment might not work for you. There's just no way to get into it. Well, I guess you could add a side zipper, but then you'd have to take your pants off to go pee. Either that or pull the crotch to the side, which could get messy. But I did read a blog post by a lingerie designer made by Madeline who said that that's actually what she prefers. So I guess I shouldn't knock it until I try it. Wow, this video has really taken a turn. I just know what you guys are thinking, so I might as well address it now rather than try and explain myself in the comments section. Speaking of comments, leave one below to let me know what you think of my new intro. I literally say those words at the beginning of every video, so I thought it would be fun to edit some video to go along with it. I know you guys will be honest, so let me know if you like it. That's going to do it for me today. I hope this video gives you some confidence to try this bodysuit. A link to the pattern and a link to the bodice fabric are in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye!